Hello and welcome to today's reflection based on Psalm 21. Psalm 21 to me seems to fit nicely be between the praise of Psalm 20, asking for God's help, almost preparing for battle, whereas Psalm 21 is a response after the battle when things have gone well. Psalm 22 might be about when things don't go quite so well, but I'm not entering into Psalm 22 today. I'm going to read the psalm twice, once from the contemporary English version, which gives a fairly literal translation, and once from the message, which tries to be a bit more poetic, I think, and uh, paraphrase uh, the ideas together. So here we are, first from the CED. Our Lord, your mighty power, makes the king glad, and he celebrates victories that you have given him. You did what he wanted most and never told him no. You truly ble blessed the king and you placed on him a crown of finest gold. He asked to live a long time and you promised him life that never ends. The king is highly honoured. You have let him win victories that have made him famous. You have given him blessings that will last forever and you have made him glad by being so near to him. Lord Most High, the King trusts you and your kindness and you keep him from defeat. With your mighty arm, Lord, you will strike down all of your hateful enemies. They will be destroyed by fire once you are here and because of your anger flames will swallow them you will wipe their families from the earth and they will disappear all their pl plans to harm you will come to nothing you will make them run away by shooting your arrows at their faces show your strength lord so that we may sing and praise your power Now again from the message version. Your strength, God, is the king's strength. Helped, he's hollering hosannas. You gave him exactly what he wanted. You didn't hold back. You filled his arms with gifts. You gave him a right royal welcome. He wanted a good life. You gave it to him. And then made it a long life as a bonus. You lifted him high and bright as a cumulus cloud, then dressed him in rainbow colours. You pile blessings on him. You make him glad when you smile. Is it any wonder the king loves God, that he's sick, sticking with the best? With a fistful of enemies in one hand and a fistful of haters in the other, you radiate such brilliance that they cringe as before a furnace. Now the furnace swallows them whole, the fire eats them alive. You purge the earth of their progeny, you wipe the slate clean. All their evil schemes, the plots they cook up, have fizzled, every one. You sent them packing, they couldn't face you. Show your strength, God, so no one can miss it. We are singing the good news. And with typical Jewish exaggeration, I think, about uh, God and what happens to the enemies, we hear that the king is delivered from his enemies and also is being blessed by long life and health, more than he, would ask, than he could ask for. God has done everything the king asks. God has delivered him from enemies and blessed him. God has answered his request. He has blessed him with wealth. He has honoured him in victories that made him famous and has kept him from defeat and other harm. God has dealt with his enemies. And then at the end, 
The psalmist talk, stops talking about God or the King and talks about our response. If God has shown his strength, we should speak of it. We may not be famous or hopefully needed enemies dealing with, but we benefit from God's action. Today we can speak out of what God has done. He has delivered us from the power of sin and death. And even though this life may end, there are still blessings we have received that we can speak about. God has shown his love for us by emptying himself to come and live among us. He's shown us the way and he even died in agony to show that he is stronger than death and nothing can separate us from him or his love. Yes, something that we can continue to sing about. And so let us pray. Lord, thank you that you have shown faithfulness to your people and to us as individuals. Thank you for your love, your presence and your guidance. Help us to speak out of all that you have done, to sing your praises as we go about our life and to remember them when times may be hard. Amen. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.